Hi and welcome. This is Patty Bennett. I am super excited to be sharing something really beautiful with you today. I think you are going to love this. This is uh, Tuesday, January 8th. I am live on my business Facebook page right now. You may be watching this later. You may be watching a replay on Facebook or on YouTube or my blog. However you are joining me, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I blog at pattystamps.com and I like to share a new idea with you each day on my blog. So tonight, this will be on my blog. So you'll be able to find all of this information tonight at midnight on my blog. What we're doing today is we are using the Butterfly Gala bundle. This is the stamp set and matching punch on page 35 in the occasions catalog. And we are using rainbow spectrum pads. So this is really exciting because these are so pretty and I just can't wait to share all of the details with you. So I think we are just hitting exactly two o'clock, which is when I said I'd go live. So I just want to say welcome again. If this is one of the first times you have found me, welcome. And if you're joining me again from another time, welcome back. I'm so glad that you found me and I'm excited to share a little time with you. So this is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com and I'm going to be sharing this information about rainbow pad stamping. We have the Butterfly Gala stamp set, the matching punch, and this is available at a 10% discount when you purchase the bundle. So that is always exciting. You'll find in the catalog these little advertisements that say 10% off. And that's how you know that you can get a discount when you buy those products together. So for this instance, it would be the stamp set and the punch. All right. We are also on the card that I'm going to show you. Let me show you the designer paper. I'm going to be using this floral romance designer paper actually on two different cards. So you'll want to stay tuned to the end because I'm making another bonus card today. And this is on page 11 of the occasions catalog. So that's where you will find this. All right. Now, if you joined me on the last couple weeks, you saw that we've been doing butterflies for three weeks three weeks in a row now. So we did the larger butterfly abounds, the large die cuts. We did these a couple weeks ago. And then we did this just on the week. Was it the weekend? Gosh, now I don't even remember what day it was that I was showing you this. So we were doing sponging. Let me show you. So I was sponging these butterflies and then punching them out and putting them on cards. And while I was getting ready for this video, I looked up and I saw all of my rainbow pads. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, what about using rainbow pads instead of sponging color so that was my next thought, and that's when this idea came about. So as that was mulling over in my mind, I received this gorgeous card from Cindy Wilkinson, and I loved this layout. I loved the colors. I loved everything she did with it, and she used that sponging technique for those butterflies. But I thought, well, I want to use this layout and then I want to use the rainbow pad stamping. So this is where I got the idea. I absolutely love this. And this is what I came up with. So this is a take on Cindy's card with that beautiful floral romance vellum in the background. And I used rainbow pads to make the butterflies. And I think they are gorgeous. At first, I thought, well, I'm just going to do the purples and pinks just sort of to go with the color in there. And then I tried the greens and the blues. And I thought, oh, I really like that too. So I thought, gosh, these are just endless. You could do 
whatever colors you want and you could combine them and just mix and match and I was like oh my goodness I just can't wait to do this so I showed you when we were doing the sponging technique with these that I like to just take my piece of eight and a half by eleven and I cut it into four pieces. So you cut it at eight and a quarter, five and a half, two and three quarters, and it makes those four strips. That was the easiest way for me because these stamps in Butterfly Gala are already like this. They're attached. So do you see how the large one and the small one, they're one piece. And they did this so that you wouldn't have to try to line it up when you want to stamp and punch. It's just going to automatically punch out. So then I just stamped my four images across in the Memento Black. And you can use any black if you're just um, stamping or sponging. There are four different detailed butterflies. I've used two different ones here. And then we're going to use these two pieces to fill in the top two wings and the bottom two wings. And then this little butterfly gets filled in with that little piece. So that's kind of how that works. So when I grabbed my rainbow pads, I tried... Let's just look at these first. So I just tried one of every pad. So on this one, it's my pad that has the greens and the blues. So it's lemon lime, granny apple, pool party, Bermuda Bay, blueberry bushel. And I have all of these on my blog. I will link to that in everywhere. So if you're looking at this on Facebook, I'll link to that when the video is done. If you're watching this on um, YouTube, I'll have links below the video. So you'll find all the links to these. So that was this one, and then I grabbed this one that I call my pinks and purples, and I did this one. So this has grape, mambo, flamingo, berry burst, and rich razzleberry, so that's those colors. And then I used, which one did I, excuse me, I have to reach, sorry. So then on this one, I did the pad that I have blues and purples, and that is uh, Blueberry Bushel, Pacific Point, Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. And then on this last one, I used just this section over here uh, with the uh, yellow and orange. And that one would be Grape, Flamingo, Calypso, Daffodil, and Mango. But then I decided, well... You know, what if people don't have that many rainbow pads that they've created? So I made all of these just with this one rainbow pad. So I did want to show you that you can be pretty versatile with this and you can selectively figure out which colors you want to use within your rainbow pad. And I will show you stamping with this in a minute. I just wanted to give you an overview of what I was doing with all of these different pads and how I got all these beautiful colors. After I did this one, I thought, you know what I really want is kind of a monarch butterfly look. And so I thought I would make a rainbow pad with these colors. I really wanted reds, yellows, and oranges. And so what I do when, when I'm ready to ink a blank pad, and this is the blank pad, so it just comes completely blank, five blank sections, and you use your Stampin' Up! ink refills, and you ink a section in each color. That's how you do it. Um, what I like to do is I grab the five colors that I think I'm going to like, and a scrap piece of paper, so this is just Whisper White, and I put the colors on and I label them and I look at them for a little bit before I ink the pad because I want to make sure that I like those colors. And I really liked this. Uh, that was my first try with these five colors and I thought, okay, I really like this. So then I go to my blank pad and I get those reinkers and I start inking. So I did Poppy Parade here, Pumpkin Pie in the next one. Daffodil Delight here, Calypso Coral here, and then I thought I would just show you, if you haven't seen inking a pad, I'll do real red in the last section. 
so that you can see just how easy this is. You want to make sure that you leave these pulled apart while you're inking. And you just squeeze and let the ink come out. And you just fill in the whole thing. And that's all there is to it. Now, you see that I did not put a ton of ink in there. And let me tip this to the side and show you. I hope you can see this that the ink is not going all the way down into those little felt sections. It really doesn't need to. You can re-ink this if it needs it, but I just didn't feel like I needed that much ink in it. It's just, you know, to cover the surface is really all that you need. So that's the amount of ink I put in there. And then what we're going to do is stamp with it. So here's a sheet that I have stamped just with the black and we're going to use these two pieces to fill in the top and bottom of the butterfly. Now the first time that you use the pad, oh gosh this one, sorry, I should have, so it's it's a little tight but you, there we go. So you just push them together when you want to use them. You can use it pulled apart but then of course you'd get stripes on here and I really want it to blend. So you could do this, and let me just stamp it here and show you. So then you're going to get colors of the rainbow that go this way. Or, I'm just cleaning that off, or you can do it this way so that you get dark to light in this direction. So you can really do this any way that you'd like. So I thought, it's kind of, I was thinking this in my mind. So my thought was I would do darker. Let's see if it works. I'm, I'm hoping. And I'm sorry if I put my head in here. I'm trying to look straight down. Yeah, so this is what I wanted. So I wanted... A little bit darker right here where there would be kind of some shadow of those wings going under the top wings and then it's coming lighter so that's the poppy parade and the pumpkin pie okay so I like that and then let's do let's do the pumpkin pie and the daffodil delight on the top so let's try that one on here and you can see that I'm kind of wiggling a little bit back and forth because I don't want just a super stark line. Oh, I love this! So what I was trying to say was that I wanted this to blend a little bit. I didn't want like stripes of color. But how beautiful is that? And that's exactly what I was after for the look of a monarch butterfly. What do you think? I hope you like this. I think this is going to be just so fun and so gorgeous. So I'm going to clean that and let's it go to, let's do it this way. And let's see how these two colors blend for the top of this one. Beautiful. So that's a little bit darker because I went into the Calypso. And then let's just go with the did I clean that? Let me clean it just to make sure I didn't. Good thing I did. So now let's do a couple of different colors down here just to see how this one goes. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this. Do you like that? I hope you're loving this. I think this is so pretty. I just thought this whole monarch butterfly idea would be just really lovely. And I am super pleased with it. So let's do the, the little butterflies. Oh, I like that. Cute. Do that. And sorry, I hope I'm not putting my head into the camera too much. I'm just trying to look straight down. I kind of missed it a little bit there because it's hard to look straight down when you can't get your head right under the camera. But anyway, that is how I thought these would come out. And I am thrilled with these. I absolutely love this. Ah! Oh, I'm glad I'm seeing lots of pretty comments go by. <laughs> pretty comments. Comments going by that you think it's pretty. <laughs> pretty comments. That's hysterical. So 
there you go. Let's add that to these that I did previously and this one. And there you have several different ways to use the rainbow pads, all different colors. And it just depends what colors you want to do. You can do absolutely anything that you'd like. My uh, last tip before we punch is that I like to spritz this whole piece with a mixture. I've got champagne mist um, shimmer paint in the spritzer, and I fill it about two-thirds full with rubbing alcohol, and I do like, whoop, like that much <laughs> of champagne mist, and then you shake it up, and then I spritz the whole thing. And since I want these to be pretty and spritzy. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to stamp these other two real quick so that they're all done. And I should say, just in case you haven't used the rainbow pads, when you store them, you do pull that back apart. You pull it back apart and you store them upside down so that the ink is... Um, staying at the surface of the pad. You want to make sure that you are keeping the ink there. And then you, you'll be ready to use it next time. And if you find that it's a little bit dry when you go to use it the next time, you can just add a little more ink. But I have been using my pads since, let's see, I guess last May. And we are now in January, so six, seven months I've been using them uh, since we got them in the catalog and I inked them. And they are fine, and I haven't even had to re-ink them yet, and I've used them quite a bit. So now they're stamped and I can spritz them, and I'm going to do that just over here. I like to just do that over my garbage can so that it um, doesn't go everywhere. So hang on. And you probably can't see that it's shimmery, but it is. And I think it's just, it's, they're absolutely beautiful in person. And then your fingernails kind of get spritzed as well. <laughs> But um, I don't know if this question went by, but I will tell you that what I like to do is label these because as you can see, the lid comes absolutely plain. And so I like to just stamp. What I do is I just take a scrap and why not do it right now while this piece is drying, right? Okay, so we're going to push that back together and they do loosen up as you um, use it. So what I'm going to do is, let me think about this. Which way do I need to do this? Like this. Okay. The reason I put this up on a block is because this will not let you push down right onto your flat surface. So you need to have somewhere for this little thing to go. So it's going to go off the edge while I just do this. So I'm just pushing. Okay, so that gives me my colors, and when this dries, I'm going to cut a little strip, and I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to do another one of these, and I'll show you what that where that will go. I think I just put my fingers in it. Hang on. I hope not, but I think I did. Okay, so yeah, I did. Hang on. That could be a disaster. So then this other piece I'm going to put on the back. And you can see that I just, well, that one I just used the markers. That one I used the markers. But I label it on the back with the colors because, trust me, in a week, a month, whatever, you're going to go back and you're going to think, uh-oh, which one was Poppy Parade and which one was Real Red? And you're going to forget. And it, then you, you would get your ink colors mixed up. So you'd want to keep it covered. Keep it upside down, label the back, label the front if you want to. That's not a must, but I did. And that way you always know what your colors are. Okay, so that's how I do that. And then I'm going to make a card with you. I had this in my mind, and I hope it works because I usually I have a sample already made, and today I don't. It's just in my head. 
<laughs> so I hope it turns out. So we're just gonna punch. Oh, so pretty. I am loving these. Okay, so we're gonna punch two of them because that's what I'm gonna need for my card. And then I have, so I have this top fold thick whisper white card and it has a piece of the designer paper from that same floral romance package. Okay, so I put that on there. And then I had colored this with the Stampin' Blends and this is the stained glass designer series vellum. So I colored with Stampin' Blends on the back, but then I put a piece of white cardstock because if I just laid it on top of there, this pattern would show through. Of course, I don't want that. So I put some white cardstock on the back with our adhesive sheets. And then I'm going to add it to my card. Put it over here. And it is colored on the back. I don't know if I said that, but that is where um, I colored it. And then I thought that it would be pretty with these butterflies on it. And, I'm, and stamp a greeting and then put these butterflies on there. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. So I had this in mind for a very dear friend who's having a birthday next week, and I'm going to mail it to her. And I thought what I would use is wishing you an amazing birthday. And this is from the Humming Along stamp set. I love this, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. And I want to stamp it on this die cut. Um, let me see. I can't remember the name of what this, it's right here. So this die cut is right here in the Rose Trellis Thinlet dies. And I love that Stampin' Up! is giving us not only dies that cut out an image and coordinate with a stamp set, but that they're giving us something like a bonus. This tag is just so beautiful, or label, I guess you'd call it, is so beautiful. And it's just something a little extra and pretty that we can use. So I thought we would just use our newly inked pad, push it back together, and let's see, I think I'm going to try it like this. We're going to stamp it on the grid paper first to make sure that we like this. We, like, yeah, like we, me. <laughs> okay, I think that yellow is maybe going to be too light, so I'm going to just sort of scooch down a little bit here. And just, there's might be just a little bit of the yellow on there. And sorry, I'm going to put it down here so I can look straight down. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I am loving this pad. Why did I wait so long to make one with the oranges and yellows and reds? So there's our wishing you an amazing birthday. And we'll pull that back apart because we're going to turn it upside down, you know, and store it. And then let's put dimensionals on all of this. So I put them somewhere. Where did I put my mini dimensionals? Here they are. And I don't know if you have seen on other videos, but what I like to do is use my pick a tool and the the pointed the piercing end and I just like to pick up my dimensionals with that it saves me from getting um, adhesive on the back on my fingers and it also just it saves your manicure from not getting a whole bunch of gooey stuff on it and not not just um, you know picking up little dimensionals all the time so I always like to pick them up with dimensionals I mean if pick up the dimensionals with the piercing tool and if you don't have the pick a tool that's fine you can use just the regular stamp and pierce tool either one and then I also take off the backing with this so again I'm not kind of picking at that and and fuddling with it so then I just put those in my recycle bin 
and this is going to go down here. And then we'll put our butterflies on, and I think this card will be done. Okay, so I was envisioning maybe this one down here, and then one there, and one there. I like that. What do you think? I think that works. I think that is so pretty. So beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love this. I hope you are enjoying this. I, I, I got so involved in this that I wasn't watching for your comments going by, and I, I hope that you have been enjoying this. So I think what I'll do is use these cute little happiness blooms enamel dots, and we will add some to the butterflies. So let's do a little one here, right there, and we'll do the larger size on the larger butterflies. I like that. Just, you know, it's a little subtle extra touch. I think that's really pretty. I like that. I like that. So this was actually the bonus card, and I realized we didn't make the first card together. So let's go back and make that one. And I do want to say uh, that the samples, hang on, I put them over here. So these cards will be on my blog tonight at midnight with all the colors that I used on these rainbow pads. So pattystamps.com, you can check tonight at midnight and you'll find these cards with a replay of this video. This one I will blog another time because I already have some other things ready, but, but this one will be on my blog with those colors as well eventually. So pattystamps.com, you will find this tonight at midnight. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you are in the U.S., I would love to help you by sending you a catalog and helping you with your orders. So please do let me know if you uh, need a catalog or need help ordering or anything. I'd be happy to help you. So this is the small Stampin' Up! note card. The note cards come in a pack let me just grab one here. So they're three and a half by five, and they come in a pack scored and folded, uh, scored and cut with the matching size envelopes. So what I've done is just cut that paper to two by five, and that's not a magic number. It's just what I picked because I could get 14 out of each 12 by 12 sheet. And I put them on the note cards. I stamped thank you very so very much, and that is in the Butterfly Gala stamp set. So that is in um, Rich Razzleberry ink. And then I will punch out the two butterflies. So one with the pinks and purples. And these are already shimmered. So they're all ready to go. And one with the blues and greens. And we will go ahead and put the dimensionals. Okay, stop talking and trying to work at the same time. <laughs> we'll put the dimensionals on them. Did, I don't know if you caught what I was doing, but that was really silly. Very silly. Okay, I'm probably not the only one who's ever done something silly. And then we'll just take off the backings. And we'll put one butterfly there, and one butterfly there, and the baby one up here. And that is all there was to that card. How easy was that? So easy. Now let me show you one last little cute thing that you can add. These frosted flowers, these colors coordinate perfectly with this vellum. So if you wanted to take a couple of these really sweet frosted flowers, and just put a couple of random flowers on there. That just adds a, just a little sweet extra touch to that. I think that looks really cute. And then if you wanna step it up one more notch, you can take pearls 
colored pearls, white pearls, any pearls you want. Let me see. Where are my... Here. These, I think, would be pretty. So these are the Share What You Love pearls, and I think these would be really pretty. I was thinking of this, this kind of brighter... I'm not positive what color this they say on the package, but oh yeah, look how cute this is going to be. So when you put these in the centers of the flowers, and this little guy is being crazy, there, look how pretty, pretty, pretty. So then, can you see that? The, the cute little pearl in the center of the frosted flower, and it picks up all those colors? I am loving that. I think that's so cute. So cute. So, boy, now we have like every possible fun embellishment out, don't we? But that's what the fun is, right? Just all these super fun colors and and just mixing and matching and putting things together and experimenting. <laughs> so, frosted flowers, the share what you love pearls or regular pearls, and then you have some cute embellishments. So again, these will be on pattystamps.com tonight at midnight. So you can check out all of those colors and all the details. You can watch the replay if you wish. And then I will have the links to these other rainbow pads on there as well. So that if you wanted info about how to do the other colors, you'll find that on there. So that will be these other colors will be linked on there as well. Wow, yay! I love this. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the monarch butterfly idea as well with the reds and oranges and yellows. And I will see you next time and have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.